So I'm going to try the Ubuntu 20.10 running on a Raspberry Pi here. So I've got Raspberry Pi 4 with 8 gigabytes of RAM and I've just installed the basic image of Ubuntu 20.10 also known as Groovy Gorilla. This is the beta version I'm running. It's due for release later this month, October 2020. But this is the, the first beta snapshot that's recently been released. This is showing directly on the console. I'm just going to log in and then I'm going to switch to a, a remote session, which will make it easier to configure. But you don't get a graphical interface with this. It's purely the server version. There is or was a, a graphical desktop environment which was created which could be installed on top of 20.04. That's not yet available for 2010. Hopefully it will be. You can probably install it yourself manually, but the task is going to be very difficult. There's an awful lot that needs to be installed. So we're just going to stick with it as the server version and create a basic web server. So to log on, it's username Ubuntu and password is also Ubuntu. If this is your first time logging on, then at this point you'll be told you have to change your password. Oh, but I've already done it here. So use my new password. There we go, so I'm logged in. And it's just a very basic setup. The important thing here is check my IP address 192.168.0.173 that's what I'll use in a minute to log on and just have a quick look htop to have a look at what's running see there's there's not much here just some, mainly some system applications there is snapd running um, snapd is a container based system used for packaging and installing uh, applications that are all packaged together into a, a container I'm not going to use that, I'm just going to use the standard apt install for this using the normal Debian tools. First I'm going to switch to SSH because this is going to be difficult to follow with this font so I'm using my screen capture. I'll bring a terminal up here, so this is on my desktop machine, I'm running Ubuntu and should be able to now move over to the other keyboard and log on using SSH. So should I say it's the user Ubuntu at the IP address we got before. There we go and now we're logged in to Ubuntu. Change the size of that one just slightly, and I'm going to install the Apache web server sudo apt install Apache. So I think it might be Apache 2, that's better, yeah. So that's just going to take a short time to install the Apache web server. Now by default it normally puts in a landing page so we should be able to once this is done just load that straight into a web browser. So I'll just bring up a web browser screen here and put in the IP address 192.168.0.173 and you can see there's a default page. And it usually tells you where your config files are and that the public HTML is in var www. So 
So here's the index page that it was serving up. And if you've just got a static website, then you can just add it here or we to write here now so I've not got permission here so I'm going to change the let's change the owner to miss myself which is you Ubuntu come on Now I should be able to write that. So if I just do save, yeah. So very basic HTML page. Uh, just put a title. So this is the title that displays on the top, not. not the screen so in the body we put h1 so this is this is the title screen that will be shown and a bit of text welcome to my test page Close the HTML, view quit, and now if I go back to my web browser and hit reload, there we go. So, just a very short video just to show you how easy it is to get set up with installing a web browser. So, potentially, you want to go beyond this, uh, you can install a database such as Mario if you want to have some kind of communication with that and there's various other things you can do but that's simple stage of setting up a web server on your local network using Raspberry Pi 4 with Ubuntu 20.10